It's time now for a little East in local sports and sports high school football. Friday night, the Wayne County Yellow Jackets hit the Statesboro, Georgia. Take on the Blue Devils. Coach J.B. Shaw says his team's ready to take the field and put the last week's game behind them. But he says a loss last week was a learning experience. Says his team looking to continue to improve. Those guys in that locker room and our quarterback, our running back, our offensive line, tight ends, receivers, no, that was an embarrassment, embarrassing display of offensive football. And they'll be the first ones to tell you. I mean, it was, it just wasn't us, um, you know, not being able to run the football and being able to just create some first downs, keep the defense off the field, play some field position. Um, you know, just wasn't very good. Uh, and they know that. And film session on Sunday, I think if you ask any of those players that were in there, it's hard to sit through. Um, you know, we told them the, the blatant truth. And uh, and we and we got better. And we really, um, you know, y'all know me. I'm a I'm a positive guy, and uh, you know, I, I try and take lessons from from losing. Um, you know, don't waste an opportunity to get better. Basically, you know, learn from this spot, learn from this situation, and uh, and let's move on and be ready to roll for the next time. That was just that was the the disappointing thing. I think we just. We let an opportunity go, and uh, we can't get it back. All we can do is move on and get better from it and learn from it and uh, be ready to roll. So we'll definitely uh, we'll respond the right way. That was evident when we came back to practice on Monday. Again, you can hear all Coach J. Bo Shaw's comments on the Wayne County Coaches Show. It'll air tomorrow at 6.30, our pregame from the stadium at 7. Kickoff tomorrow night at 7.30. Tickets are on sale today on GoFan.com. Again, no local, t- no local ticket sales Got to go on GoFan.com to purchase a ticket. They say tickets will be available at the gate tomorrow night at the game. Again, it's Wayne County Statesboro Friday night in Statesboro. You can catch it all right here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5 FM. Other high school games this weekend, Long County hosts Groves. Liberty's at Calvary Day. New Hampstead's at Richmond Hill. Pierce hosts Charlton. McIntosh is at Lanier. Clinch at Bacon. Coffee hosts Salem. Camden County hosts Somerset Academy out of Florida. Brunswick hosts the Islands, and Appling hosts Moorhaven out of Florida. Today, the JV football team in action over Ware County. That game gets underway at 5 p.m. Two middle school football teams play each other today at J.C. Stadium at 5 p.m. Cross-country team in a race today. They have a race at Jeff Davis. That gets underway at 5.15. Arthur Williams softball plays at Ware today at 4.30. And Martha Puckett softball hosts Bethune Middle at Ben Park Complex at 4.30. Varsity girls softball team defeated New Hampstead Wednesday Afternoon by a final score of 24-0 in just three innings of work. Reagan, Harvey, and Eddie Tyre pitched a perfect game. Nine up, nine retired, six by strikeouts. Marley Walling had a big day, had an inside-the-park home run along with two doubles. Scored four runs. Eddie Tyre, three for three with three doubles. Wayne scored 24 runs on 19 hits. Led 17 zip after the first inning. Sent 22 batters to the plate. Veda Bowen had five stolen bases in the first inning alone. Lady Jack is now 3-0 in region play. They head to Waycross today for an all-region game against Ware County. JV game yesterday ended in a 2-2 tie against Glen Academy. Speaking of softball, the 1998 state champions are going to be honored by the Wayne County Sports Hall of Fame on October the 10th at 5 p.m. at the Barber Struckoff softball field on the last home game of the season between Wayne County and Glen Academy. Team members are asked to reach out to Eric Denny at 912-427-3757 for more information. Members of that team included Haley Long, Tiffany Reynolds, Jody Westbury, Jessica Guess, Leslie Grantham, Jenny Tyre, Katie White, Jocelyn Griffin, Heather Blocker, Kelly Brown, Consuelo Hatcher, Casey Harris, Christina Parson, Jennifer Hamilton, Salisa Bell, Ashley Lewis, Lindsey Robinson, and Ashley Bell. Scorekeeper was Nicole Lewis. Coaches included head coach Barbara Strokoff and students coach Sharon Daniel. And they're going to be inducted into the Wayne County Sports Hall of Fame. On October 10th at 5 p.m. at the Barbara Struckoff Softball Field. Should be a big day, and we'll have more on the event. But, again, those team members are asked to contact Eric Denny for more information. And the number 912-427-3757. His email is ericdenny91 at gmail.com. Annual JD Memorial Golf Tournament is set for Saturday, October 14th at the Pine Forest Country Club. Tea time at 8.30 a.m. It's a four-person scramble format. Cost is two eighty dollars per team, which includes lunch and mulligans and drawings for door prizes. To sign up, call the Pro Shop at 427-6505 or contact Donnie Ray at 427-0376. If you have a business would like to sponsor a hole on the course, 
that day. You can call Donnie again, the number 427-0376. Always a full field of teams, so be sure to sign your team up early. Again, the annual J.D. Memorial Scholarship Tournament set for Saturday, October 14th. Again, to sign your team up, call the Pro Shop at 912-427-6505. College football this weekend, Georgia will begin SEC play. Looking for their 20th straight win as they play host to South Carolina. They get the CBS game at 3.30. Georgia, a four-touchdown favorite in the game. Eagles of Georgia Southern head out to play Wisconsin at 12 noon kickoff. Some Wayne County diehard Eagle fans flying out Friday. Hope they enjoy the Eagles' victory. All the action here on WIFOFM Saturday morning. And Saturday night, we've got Georgia Tech on AM 1370. They're taking on SEC opponent Ole Miss. That kickoff set for 7.30 p.m. Again, that action on our sister station, AM 1370. Atlanta Braves clinched their sixth straight National League East title last night, a 4-1 win over Philadelphia. Braves the first team to clinch a division title this season or a playoff spot this year. They've got the day off. They travel to Miami to take on the Marlins over the weekend. Braves currently the number one seed into the playoffs. They have a seven-game lead over the L.A. Dodgers, so they should avoid the best of three wild card round, which begins on October the 7th. Playoff ticket information they state will be released sometime today. That's going to do it for latest in local sports.